I'm uh, talking with Aaron Hill, and Aaron is the uh, former uh, head basketball coach at Valley Christian. Now, Aaron, I understand that uh, you and, and Valley had a parting of the ways. What what happened? Uh, they chose not to renew my contract for next year. Um, ever since uh, I've been employed there as a coach, it's always been year to year, and uh, this year they chose to not renew my contract. Now, how long have you been coached there, Aaron? Uh, last year was my 12th season. Okay. Now, you had a spectacular season with the boys, especially the varsity boys. There was a time there where you were undefeated, right? Uh, we won our first 17 games, yeah, and then we did end up losing a couple, ended up 23-2. and two. So, yeah, we had some success on the court. It was, uh, you know, had some exciting wins and, uh, you know, not a lot of losses, but we had a couple. Well, it, it's just hard for me to understand uh, why a coach that went 23-2 and two the previous season would not have his contract renewed. Well, you know, that is certainly a question you would have to ask the administration. I, um, I, I worked hard to fulfill their expectations of me, and uh, I believe that, you know, I did the best I was able to. Uh, have a great relationship with uh, most of the kids and the, and, and the players and the families, and uh, certainly will miss working with them and seeing them continue to grow as basketball players and, more importantly, as young men. That's always been the key and the most important thing to me. All right. Now, now, Will, is this something that uh, you plan to pursue, uh, another coaching uh, position? I, I know you, you and your family live here in Missoula. Uh, would you possibly relocate to be a coach somewhere else, or, or have you even had a chance to think about it yet? What, when did this happen, by the way? Uh, this was a, a week ago, Thursday, or it's, it's, it's been like 10 or 11 days at this point. So, you know, we're, we're dealing with the questions of what that means for our family right now, we're not really sure. We're open to a lot of things, um, but have, we're certainly not making any rash decisions. Um, yes, I love coaching is the answer, and yes, I want to continue to invest in the lives of young men through basketball. I love it. I, I, I enjoy it. I've studied it. Um, I, I've spent years uh, learning the craft of coaching, how, how the game works, how to communicate with kids. And so I want to continue to use those gifts, and I believe it's something that, you know, that I do relatively well, and, and I look forward to having another opportunity. Don't know what that is yet, but for now, you know, we're just kind of trying to figure out what comes next for us. So what are your feelings toward Valley Christian School in, in just in general right now? You know what? There, that's that's a tricky question. I we're hurt for sure. Um, I have been a part of the school for 33 years. I graduated from the school, uh, started going to school there in eighth grade, and so it's difficult to understand some of what went on because in any any coaching scenario, there's there's a lot that goes on there. It's not just about wins and losses. It's not just about, yeah, you know, how that works. It's also about relationships and things like that. So um, I don't know all of the reasoning. Uh, you know, I've certainly had a lot of things explained to me, but not all of it, I don't think. And it's difficult to feel like those 33 years of being a part of the school um, are not valued in the way I valued the school. So at the same time, though, they have to do what's best for the kids, and if that's what they believe is best for the kids, then they're fulfilling their agreement with the parents as administrators. 